the realm. Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon update video. In this video, I want to have a look at House of the Dragon's new Weeks Ahead trailer, that way we all have an idea of what will be happening in the following episodes. We will be looking at scenes from not only the second episode of House of the Dragon, but most likely episodes 3, 4, and even beyond. So you might want to wait for my next video if you don't want to know what will be happening in the next few episodes. Now let's begin. Other than maybe the opening scene, it looks like we will finally be leaving King's Landing after spending nearly the entire first episode in that one location. Soon, we will be back on Dragonstone where Daemon will face off against Serato Hightower after Viserys learns his brother had stolen one of the dragon's eggs. Once again, Daemon will upset his brother Viserys by stealing this egg from Osaria and what he thought would be their future son. Like many Targaryens before, Daemon was hoping to set this dragon egg next to the newborn baby in hopes of creating an immediate bond with the dragon inside. Viserys will send Serato to not only get the egg back, but make sure Daemon knows that Masaria is no longer welcome in the city. It looks like this will be one hell of a heated standoff that even brings out Rhaenyra and her massive fire-breathing machine gun, Cyrax. We even get a glimpse of someone scaling the rocks of what looks like Dragonstone. This might even be Daemon when he's going after the dragon egg, but it's still hard to say right now. We also get a glimpse of Viserys and Alicent, and this shows us that their relationship is growing each day. This was set in motion near the end of the first episode when Serato showed no signs of hesitation by sending his daughter to look after Viserys shortly after he had just lost his wife and newborn son. If you look at one of these other images, you will see just how far this relationship will go. In this scene, Alicent now has the king's son inside of her. This will be the first of many children they have, further driving a wedge in between Rhaenyra and Alicent's own relationship with one another. We then see a shot of someone walking in front of Balerion the Black Dread Skull. This looks like it could be Rhaenyra, although I'm not exactly sure what she is up to. My guess is she's heading for her own dragon, then a destination unknown. We then see a new castle off in the distance in this scene here. It kind of looks like a smaller version of Harrenhal, but I'm not exactly sure where this is either. One thing it does is get me excited to be seeing new locations. I hope they do find ways of adding some more adventure to the show. Now that the stage is mostly set, and we've met most of the main characters, we should be leaving King's Landing for new locations in the following episodes, which, like I said, has me excited. Next, we see Rhaenyra sailing out at sea as she looks up at Daemon's dragon, Caraxxus, as it damn near flips over the ship. This might be when Rhaenyra is on her way to Driftmark, the seat of House Valerion, located right beside Dragonstone. Eventually, Rhaenyra will marry Lord Corlys Valerion's son, Laenor Valerion. We've seen them walking side by side on the shore of his home on Driftmark. As you can see, Rhaenyra is not very interested, and we will soon find out that Laenor isn't very interested in her either. Their relationship will mostly serve as an alliance rather than an actual love interest. We then begin to see the characters later in the season when they're much older. Here is the older version of Rhaenyra, and my guess is this is when she's on Dragonstone. I say that because it looks like the older version of her father shows up there as well. Now if this isn't on Dragonstone, then it will be Driftmark, because they do look very similar since they're both islands surrounded by water. This is definitely on Dragonstone where she seems to be looking out over the sea where we've seen her stand before. I'm thinking she's reflecting on everything that is happening around her after she loses her father and the Iron Throne. This is set up again when we hear Rhaenys tell Rhaenyra that men will set the realm on fire before ever seeing a woman on the Iron Throne. As we all know, Rhaenys has first-hand knowledge because she was also passed over for another man when Rhaenyra's father won the Iron Throne in the opening scene of the show during the Great Council of 101 AC. Now, with all that being said, we still hear Rhaenyra say, I will be the Queen of the Seven Kingdoms, something that's also very reminiscent of Daenerys Targaryen. We hear Rhaenyra say this as we get a glimpse of her Black Council in Dragonstone. This is after her father dies, and Alicent and Serato have secured King's Landing before Rhaenyra even knew that her father was gone. We already saw how Serato handled the death of Viserys' son. He wanted the matter of succession handled the same night. Well, 
it will be no different when Viserys eventually dies. He will make sure the matter is settled in King's Landing before Rhaenyra even finds out on Dragonstone. As soon as she does find out what happened with her father and the Iron Throne, she forms a council of her own. Now, although Rhaenyra might have lost the Iron Throne, she is wearing the crown on her head. The reason she has the crown is because a member of the Kingsguard steals it from King's Landing before fleeing to Dragonstone to stand at her side. Here is actually a shot of him handing her the crown. This is when we will really start to see Rhaenyra and Daemon's relationship flourish. Not only do we see them standing side by side, but we've also seen glimpses of them getting married. As you can imagine, this is only one of the many relationships we will see Daemon Targaryen engage in. I mean, what can I say? The man likes to dip his feather in some ink. Now, one other thing that was set up in the first episode was this conflict on the Stepstones. Eventually, Daemon and Lord Corlys will leave King's Landing and Driftmark to embark on a journey to carve out a kingdom of their own. Here, we will most likely see the biggest battle from this season. Now, since the war for the Stepstones lasts for several years, I'm thinking we might see more than one battle on these islands. Eventually, Daemon will name himself the King of the Stepstones and Lord Corlys will set a crown on his head. Daemon shows up in King's Landing wearing the crown, which must infuriate his brother Viserys. That's why we see him with a blade at Daemon's throat. This is interesting because Viserys did support his brother's efforts in the Stepstones, and when Daemon arrived back in King's Landing, he did offer up his crown to his brother. However, as we've seen in the first episode already, Daemon has been getting under his skin for a while. Viserys finally snaps after dealing with all of his shenanigans. And then last, but certainly not least, we will start to see more dragons in the following episodes. We still need to see Rainey's dragon melees, and Amon's future dragon Vagar, and many many more. The showrunner said we will see 9 dragons this season, and in one of these shots we can see at least 7 of them flying above King's Landing. I think it will be glorious when we finally see this many big ass dragons flying in the sky at once. It's one of the many things I'm looking forward to. After looking at all these amazing scenes, it does look like this season will only get better and better from here on out. I know I cannot wait to see how the rest of this season will unfold. Like I've said before, make sure you subscribe so you can see all of my new videos as soon as they are released. I still have more videos coming this week, and I will be making several videos during each week of the season. So stay tuned for a lot more videos heading your way. As always, I want to thank all of you for watching this video. I hope you all have a great day. I will see you again very soon. Bye.